على دي صاحب السير جيه بكر من كبير السير رباني أحمد لو يتعرى أن تؤزل أن تخلنا أن تغير أن تصير أسبين الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله للمعزي طالقة الصحبة في الحير من جميع This way continues with association Sit, listen, open your heart Don't be busy with the dunya or your ego Leave everything aside, open your heart and listen Try to remember how it was the first time you listened to the sohbet and how your heart was moving. Try to remember the first time that you're sitting for the zikr and how your heart was shaking. Remember. Remember the times and the situation you were in that makes you to look for the zikr of Allah and the sohbat of the Prophet and the sohbat of the awliya Allah. Remember, don't forget, because if you forget, you're not going to be grateful, there's not going to be any shukr, you get spoiled, once you get spoiled, they can give you the best things, but there is no taste, there is no taste, and because there is no taste, because your heart is circling somewhere else, you're going to stop remembering how the dunya tasted like and you're going to start remembering just how your ego felt when you were in dunya. That is a very dangerous situation. This is part of a tafakkur. If you're remembering properly, your ego is not going to trick you that way because you understand and you look like what I was saying so many have come before and they have left, they have deviated. I sit and I say, that could be me. What did they do? What am I doing? Are my actions the same as theirs? If it is, then I will be from that association. I will be one of them. I will deviate too. Guard myself because we are not separate from them. So many of them, they are better than us. But once you stop remembering, you forget and that taste loses, everything becomes routine. Then nothing is of value anymore. This is the month of Shaaban. Every year we are celebrating Shaaban. Alhamdulillah. Every year we are reminding people better art is coming, where our fate is going to be decided. Don't fill these days to make our fate that is going to be decided to be a bad one and a heavy one for the year to come. You want to get upset? Get upset with yourself, don't get upset with other people. Get upset with yourself that you're continuously forgetting. Some, they get upset with others. But when you see where is that anger coming from, it's not from truth, it's not from haq, it's just from your ego. And the ego just wants to destroy, it just wants to hurt. Some, they are blaming themselves. But because you're not listening, First, you have to listen physically. If you're not taking that physical listening, then because you are so sensitive to how uh, weak you are, when you don't listen to the physical words of the shaykh, that's the time your ego is going to speak very loudly to you and you're going to listen to those words and you're just going to make up your own theory and you're just going to make up your own reality. We say, where is this reality coming from? Are we speaking? No. 
but I'm seeing this, 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 and this. And we say, when you don't listen, you cannot listen properly with the ears physical, you're not seeing with the eyes physical properly. How real is that reality now that you're feeling? The shaitan, busy, never resting, always trying to pull us out, like I said before. In the month of Ramadan, there is no shaitan, they're all locked up. What do you think they're doing right now? They're relaxing? No. Right now, they're running after every believer, especially, to train the ego. They're doing it, running around extra hard to train the ego so that when it leaves for 30 days the ego will know exactly what to do. It's as if shaitan is right next to the ego and the ego can continue being disobedient, the ego can continue being destructive. Shaitan doesn't need to be there. That's why you find there are some people during the month of Ramadan they become more shaitanic, they become more impatient, they become more angry. You say, what happened? This is supposed to help you. But no, because they're not preparing for Ramazan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us berat to prepare for Ramazan and for the rest of our lives. To say, if I die, may Allah reach us. Make us to reach to berat. If I die after berat, then at least I've cleaned all the actions that I've done before this berat. And I'm looking to see what kind of year that I want. What is the year that you want? So many, they're looking just for this dunya, just for their ego, just for their desires. What is it that you want? When death strikes us, we forget everything else. When sickness strikes us, we forget everything else. When you get just one toothache, that time you forget about everything, all your problems, all the people, you're just remembering that toothache. And that toothache, at least it is a sign that Allah is making us to wake up and to realize what is real. All the things we're getting so busy, getting so upset, they're not real. It's not even true. It's just a reality that you make to yourself. We should get ourselves ready for better art so that we can enter into Ramazan clean. What is it that we want from Ramazan? We want from the month of Ramazan to be free from our desires, to be free from our ego, to be free from this dunya and to be free from shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is already helping us with shaitan. He's locking him up. With all the rest, are we locking it up before Ramazan? We're not. In fact, before Ramazan happens, more people, they, get, they become more egoistic. They run more to this dunya. They're running everywhere to satisfy their desires. So that during Ramazan time now, that's what they're going to continue. Allah is giving us berat to say now, think. You just finished the Shaban, uh, the Rajab. The Mi'raj, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is complaining to the Holy Prophet والسلام, about his ummah. Where they are hiding this, especially all the punishments that he has seen his ummah is suffering from and will suffer from. Are we reading those parts to take lesson from it? Like I said, the ship is sinking, this world is sinking. When the world is sinking, you must take a warning. There's not the time to be gazing at the stars. There is a time. Now you must prepare yourself because when it sinks to hold on to something that is going to keep you alive and afloat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is complaining to his holy prophet والسلام, about his ummah. Are we understanding that? From the backbiting to missing the prayers to being firauns to taking the rights of others. Everything is described there. What do you think that is for? 
who do you think it is for? For the Prophet It is for us, especially in this Ahir Zaman To see, are we there? Everybody, when you hear accounts of paradises Oh, you wish to be there Some saying, I'm already there when it comes to the hellfires, uh, the punishment, oh, I'm not there. Uh, this is not the behavior of a believer. We we'll finish the Layla to Miraj. We're going to enter into the Nisfu Shaban, into Berat. We don't have too much time. Then from the Berat until Ramazan. Allah is giving us now, like this, like that, when you turn left and right, it's already entered into Ramazan, and you'll be ready to collect the blessings of Ramazan. What is the blessings of Ramazan? Like I said before, the blessings of Ramazan is to understand how easy and how joyous and how blessed it is to be free from your desires, even for a few hours. To be free from this dunya, to be free from shaitan and your ego. At the time you're no longer pulled by the gravity of this world, you're feeling something, you're preparing yourself to be Ahli Jannah. This is what Ramazan is teaching us. To prepare to become an Ahli Jannah in the month of Ramazan. Not to become Ahli Jahannam. Words going back and forth. Not caring how the words are going to destroy people. Running after slander and gossip non-stop. Then that Ramazan is going to be just like doing something and getting no rewards. As the Holy Prophet is saying, there are the people who are going to enter into Ramazan and they're going to fast but all they get from the fasting is just hunger and thirst, nothing else Now is the time for us to catch ourselves a little bit Inshallah with our Shaykh's help we'll be able to do it We are weak by ourselves I'm a weak one, I'm the weakest one and more you rely on that one who is strong, more of that strength is going to be sent to you. May Allah forgive me and bless him, inshallah. May Allah bless all of you. May we wake up. May Allah take fear from our hearts and make us to worry about ahirat, not about our ego in this dunya. May Allah forgive me and bless you for the sake of the Holy Prophet, Sultan al-Awliya. صاحب السيف الفاتحه